Hey guys, I hope you had a fantastic new year and you're able to spend some time relaxing, being with family or friends, and just getting yourself ready for 2024. I know I certainly am excited. I've been working on a lot of things over the little mini vacation. And one of my goals is to bring you guys even better content. I've been working on my own skill set here delivering content on YouTube. And I've been learning a few other things here and there that I hope will bring you guys more value, um, more things that you can apply to your own life that will be of benefit to you. So that is my goal and I promise to you guys this year. I look forward to working with all of you. So let's get into today's topic. One of the problems that a lot of guys I hear from are facing is that they oftentimes don't know what to talk about when they're out and about interacting with different people. So here's a very specific thing that I'd like you guys to do, and that is to go out and learn about liquor. Yes, it's that specific. And the reason why I want you to go out and learn about liquor is because this will open up your world into so many different conversations. And this can obviously happen with both women and men. It can happen in a romantic setting. And it can also happen in business or friends or out when you're even if you're out with family. Knowing a thing or two about liquor gives you a breath and a depth into who you are as a man. Now, why does it do this? Because when you learn about liquor, and let's just pick one. I'm gonna talk about whiskey in particular today. But when you learn about whiskey, it shows that you have a refined palate. Why? Because at first blush, on the surface, to the commoner, whiskeys probably all taste the same, just like wines may all taste the same to someone who doesn't have that much experience. But if you, the more you experience different whiskeys, the more of a refined palate you have and that you develop. So the act of you knowing different whiskeys shows, first of all, that you have a refined palate. And it shows that you have, that you pay attention to detail. Because once you start to learn about these different types of whiskeys, the different makers, the different distilleries, you, your palate becomes so much more sensitive and the tastes and the flavors that you experience with, with each different one grow stronger and stronger. And this shows character. This shows that you are a man who pays attention to those nuances. And this is something that will really elevate you as a man and give you that refinement. And not only a refinement and not only a conversation piece, but it gives you authority over a particular topic. And I know a lot of you guys want to feel like you have something that you can own, that you can speak to, that you could bring to the conversation. So if you know a lot about whiskey, you're gonna be so versatile. Because if you're out with the guys one night and you can introduce them to different things and express to them and share with them what makes this whiskey this one, what makes this one that one, you're gonna have a level of knowledge that's gonna be pretty cool. And let's say you're out on a date and you're chatting with a woman and you're, you're getting drinks and you say, hey, you know what? I'm gonna grab a couple of different shots of such and such and we're gonna do a little tasting. You can do a little experiential tasting right then and there. And it's a very useful skill to have. You can even use it if you're out um, with friends at someone's house and let's say somebody um, is looking for a cocktail, well, boom. If you have access to that person's liquor cabinet and you know the different whiskeys that are in there, you have the ability then to share and create cocktails that may offer different flavor profiles that everyone else at the party might not know. So knowing this is, very, very, uh, is a very useful tool. And let me just say this. It doesn't necessarily, of course, have to be whiskey. It doesn't even have to be liquor at all. But, you know, this being the sophisticated scoundrel, uh, and we, we are about enjoying 
a nice beverage every now and then. So that's why I want to dive into this particular topic. But that being said, you could literally do it about anything. I mean, if you were super knowledgeable about cookies, if you were super knowledgeable about cars, I mean, as long as you have some sort of mastery in a particular subject matter, then you can do this with anything. And you can talk about it with all sorts of different people. And it just gives you, like I said, a new and a different unique depth to yourself that other men might not have. So seeking depth in a particular subject matter is important. But today we're gonna talk about liquor, we're gonna talk about whiskey. Um, I'm not gonna go into all the different things about whiskey, but I'm gonna tell you how you can master or at least start to learn about something so when you're out you have a conversation starter uh, within your tool belt so here's i'm gonna give you three different ways you can go out today and learn about whiskey okay i'm gonna give you a very budget friendly version i'm gonna give you a middle of the road version and then i'm gonna give you a more higher end version if you're if you're interested in spending a couple bucks to learn about whiskey so the first one the budget version or literally just free version is you take yourself to a liquor store and you simply find somebody there who is knowledgeable about whiskey and you go to them and you say hey you know i'm interested in learning about whiskey and i know there's a bunch of different kinds do you think you could show me or just explain to me the differences and i'm looking to uh, find out a lower shelf whiskey. I'd like to know something about a mid-level whiskey, and I'd like to know at least one high-end whiskey. Could you walk me through at least one of each so I have a basic understanding of those whiskeys? And they'd be happy to, to, show, to show you about and tell you what those whiskeys are all about because People who work at those places do love to share their knowledge of their product. So hopefully you go somewhere that is a little bit more niche. There are liquor stores. There are bigger name liquor stores and there are more smaller boutique liquor stores with uh, people who really have a passion for their product and they can walk you through those things. If they don't happen to know, then I would suggest going to a different spot. But that's the first and easiest way you can get a quick quick overview of what different whiskeys are all about. And um, <clears throat> some places will even let you sample a little free tasting uh, of their product. I know some of the bigger name liquor stores around the country will sometimes allow you to do that. So that's a great way to, again, yourself experience those things. And um, if you're new to it, you want to just ask them, what are the typical words used to describe the different flavors? Where are they from? What are the, what's the fragrance like? What are these different whiskeys, you know, what do they pair with well? Get that accompanying information so that when you're out and about, let's say you go to a bar, you could order something and have a little bit of a knowledge about that particular subject matter. Okay, so the second thing that you can do is to actually go to a bar. Now, you can go to a regular sports bar, but I wouldn't really recommend that. I would recommend going to a little bit fancier bar. Maybe it's a hotel bar, but ideally it's a specific whiskey bar or lounge because if you go to a whiskey bar or lounge they're gonna have a huge variety and the people who work there are gonna know a lot more about the product and they'll be able to better guide you through the process of you learning that so what you do then is you simply go to a bar like that and you tell them hey you know I'd really love to learn about whiskeys I'm getting into it I don't know much about it and I'd like to could you put together a three set sampler for me of a lower end, a mid end, and then a higher end uh, whiskey. Just give me a shot of each and explain, walk me through them, and then I'm gonna taste them. So that's the middle of the road version. And this is a lot of fun. And again, they're gonna ask you what you're interested in. And if you don't know, that's fine. You can just sort of say, hey, I don't know, I'm new to this. But if they say words that 
resonate with you. Like they may use the words like caramel or oaky or nutty, you know, different tobacco. They may use words like that. And so if there's words that resonate with you, pick ones that contain the words that they're describing so you can see what those flavors are all about. Okay, so that's the mid range. Now the last one is gonna be the higher end option where you're gonna go back to the liquor store and you're actually gonna say to the guy, hey, I'm gonna purchase, I'd like to purchase three different bottles. I'd like a lower end, a middle end, and a higher end. And now you, um, in addition to purchasing those things, do get a tutorial, ask him, hey, what is the difference between these, th these three different whiskeys? Can you walk me through a little bit of, so I know what I'm getting, so when I go home, I know what to look for when I taste it, I know how to think about it. So again, go somewhere with, where they're knowledgeable about the product so they can give you a good idea of what to expect. And so you have some sort of a vocabulary that you can approach that with. So you buy your own three, you go home and you do your own little tasting. And what's cool about this is that now you actually have three different whiskeys that you can add to your liquor cabinet that you actually know something about that you can share with the next time you have company over. I'm gonna say this. Now, a lot of times when people get into high-end booze, it's hard, it becomes difficult to drink some of the lower end. But here's a big hint for you guys. It's very important to be able to go from the lower to the higher. Why? Because not everybody is gonna, is gonna know this stuff. And to be well-versed and be able to hang with someone who's maybe just drinks Jim Beam or Jack Daniels, maybe that's all they really know. You want to be a versatile man. So if you could, if you are high and mighty and only drink the like the higher end stuff, that takes away your versatility and your adaptability to your environment. You need to be able to throw down and adapt depending on your situation. So being able to drink the lower end stuff is not a bad thing. You have to be able to roll with your crowd sometimes. Now, if you're with someone who has never had a mid end or a high-end whiskey, then this is your opportunity then to say, hey, you know what? I'm gonna buy you a shot. I'm gonna get you, and then you don't have to tell them that it's a mid-range thing, but you can say, hey, I'm gonna get you this one. Tell me what you think of it. And then if they like it, you can say, hey, you know what? This is a little bit of a mid-range whiskey, but it's great, isn't it? Do you like it? And then you start to build up that camaraderie. Now, in their eyes, you kind of become sort of an expert. You become a guy they can ask questions to. You're the go-to guy. This gives you shriek cred. This gives you social proof, and this gives you a higher position in the dominance hierarchy when you're out socializing, right? So you wanna be able to roll with the punches. You got, if you wanna um, drink higher on stuff, you can roll with these guys. Mid stuff, you can roll with these, and again, Jack, uh, Jack Daniels, Jim Beam's kind of a guy, you can roll with that. You don't want to discriminate. You have to be versatile, so. Anyway, so this is a way that you can become very, add depth to yourself um, by using liquor, specifically whiskey in this particular example of how you can slowly build up your arsenal of knowledge that will give you an unfair advantage when you're out and about interacting with people, socializing with people. This will separate you from the pack in a very subtle way that you don't have to show off, right? You can just literally walk people through stuff very casually. You don't need to act like you're high and mighty and like king shit, but when you drop things and casually share knowledge and information in an entertaining way, in a bite sizable way that people don't get bored with what you're saying, but just enough to keep, keep them intrigued, you will give off the air of a man of depth and a worldliness that other men may struggle with. So uh, stay tuned. I'm gonna actually share with you three of my favorite uh, whiskeys. Uh, so if you're interested, you can try to find these yourself and uh, give them a try. So let me grab those real quick. Okay, we're back and I wanna share with you three, these are bourbons that I am a big fan of. Um, and they're all, it's three different tier levels. So let's start with the lower end. And this is an Elijah Craig bottle. This is great if you wanna make an old fashioned or you can sip it neat as well. It's actually very sippable. But this will run you between, uh, maybe like 25 to $35, somewhere in that price range, depending on 
uh, what the store that you're at is selling it for. Now there is stuff that's even lower, maybe like in the $10 to $12 bottle range, but for today's conversation, this is the lower version. Now Eagle Rare is a, another bourbon. Now this will run right now, it's gone up in price. This actually used to be a $30 whiskey, but nowadays it's between 50, 60, sometimes even $70 for a bottle. Again, very smooth, great to sip, neat. Um, some places do use this in their old fashions, but I think it's best served and best enjoyed just on its own. And then the higher end one is one called uh, Midwinter Night's Dram. Now this is about a $200 bottle of bourbon. And um, again, you don't want to take an expensive bottle like this and mix it for a cocktail. This should be enjoyed on its own because it's such high quality that you don't want to dilute it with anything else. You want to be able to taste it, to taste the different flavors, the notes, and simply sip on it slowly and enjoy it. So these are three that if you're interested in trying, this is my starter pack for you. And so I guess what, 200, maybe 50 to 60, and then, so you're looking at spending maybe $300 to open this up. But again, I think it's money well spent in giving yourself an education and opening up the door towards a conversation starter that can be used with virtually anyone that you're gonna be interacting with in work or in your dating life, or even just family members who are maybe interested in drinking but don't know anything about these higher end products. So you can share with them something and I'm sure they in turn will be will appreciate being able to try a higher end whiskey. So, all right guys, that's it. If you enjoyed this video, please, uh, I invite you to subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions or if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, there are links down below that you can click on to book a session with yours truly to work through any challenge that you're facing right now. All right, guys, that is it for this one. We'll see you in the next one.